Okay, we're rolling. The last couple of days been doing a test outside in the sub-zero weather. Uh, we're expecting 10 days of like a 10 day cold snap here, sub-zero temperatures. Now I guess it's not as bad as what they're having on the prairies or back east, but it's it's cold for out here for uh, the west coast of uh, Canada. Anyway, uh, just like to make a real quick update uh, to you uh, who uh, are into foundry work and things like that, you'll understand more what I'm saying. And uh, at this time though, uh, another brother by the name of Rob and myself have been messing around with the, the drill pipe and uh, actually brought the drill pipe from the uh, uh, heating metal to, to where it's orange to uh, yellow. So I've actually seen metal turn uh, turn yellow hot, which is hotter than a bright orange. And also on the flame temperatures, where well, I guess the flame color we're going from blue into a purple flame. So we're actually leaving the infrared state and going into the ultraviolet. So you know that we're that the drill pipe is gener generating some extreme temperatures at this point. And uh, knowing this, I'd like to uh, merge the drill pipe technology with uh, gasification. I made this talk before, uh, but I'd just like to say that uh, I'd like to design a, a gasification and pyrolysis system so that they uh, operate on, uh, on cyclonic swirling to uh, you know, right from the start to the finish. Where we actually get the, the fire to spin. And say if you had a firebox that was one cubic uh, yard and that could take a lot of wood, you could actually create a uh, you know large uh, tornado. So if you would open the door, you'd actually see a spinning uh, tornado in the firebox, and this is what I'm aiming for. I'd just like to show you a, a quick design, uh, but before this, I'd like to. Uh, Dedicate this this year, this particular video to uh, to uh, God's people out there, and in particular to, to David Eels. And uh, he knows that hard times are coming, and he's making preparation. And uh, all those who believe in the Book of Revelations know that hard times are now coming upon America. Okay, uh, for you who have. Uh, shops and things like that, and I'd uh, just like to make a, pre a fast presentation on this gas gasification uh, stuff that I've been working on. I drew this up a couple days ago at Starbucks, but uh, I'm hoping you can see there. And here you basically have a, an upright gasifier. This is a large unit that can handle uh, one cord of wood at a time, so you've got a whole cord of wood that has top loaded. And uh, the your firebox is actually composed of uh, of seven or of six uh, large uh, uh, two inch by 36 inch uh, uh, drill pipes and uh, so you're creating a temperature, a core temperature of a uh, minimal of 2000 degrees in here just the exhaust heat alone is going to be around 2000 degrees minimal and so your ashes would you know fall through the center right so this would be a uh, Kind of like an inverted uh, cyclonic swirl, and where you, as your wood uh, falls onto the ceramic grate, uh, the heat would uh, almost instantaneously turn into charcoal. So you'd, you'd have uh, a very, very heavy charcoal bed here. Uh, say maybe a whole large wheelbarrow full of red hot coals that would be burning here. And so as the wood gas is 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 uh, fall, falling through the unit. It's uh, being cracked by the uh, the hot charcoal, and it's actually going up and around the unit. Then it's coming back uh, down in into uh, the base here, where it's uh, uh, it's 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 burnt as a fuel. You may have to uh, start it up on maybe propane or something like that. But once you get it going. Uh, 
your wood gas is primarily going to be burning in this area, creating a very intense hot spot. And uh, so you actually can generate all kinds of steam, hot water to be mixed in with the unit. So this is be like a large uh, scale operation. This morning, I don't know which one I should show you. It's not quite done, but maybe it'll get it across. All right, here you have your one cubic yard uh, wood box. And below your wood box, you got your charcoal pit, where your charcoal, once it's, your wood is uh, gasified, it, it, it uh, fills up this charcoal pit. And you actually got fins on the side of your charcoal pit that causes a swirling motion in, in here, right? In, the, in this void here, below your combustion box. And uh, so this uh, superheated uh, wood gas, you know, it's, it's going to be cracked, and you might want to add steam at this point. And then it uh, spins around the outside of the gasifier, or pyrolysis, because you'd be able to use it for both. And as it's going up, it, uh, uh, I don't have a water plenum drawn in here, but it goes into a water plenum uh, where it's cool, your, your, where it's spinning up. This is your primary cooling of your air, where you've got air being blown by to extract some of the heat out of the wood gas. And it goes into a secondary water, water plenum. This, this is optional. And uh, to cool it uh, further, then it actually goes into a built-in cyclonic swirler that's going to remove any, uh, any ash or any moisture or, or any other type of residue. And it's not to scale, but I'm just giving you the basics. Okay, that's the, the wood gas going out. And, and for it to be produced, I actually have uh, an air tube inside of the uh, where the wood gas is going out. So the air is coming in through the center, and it comes out through this valve here. It uh, goes into an air plenum, and then, then you, it to be preheated, and you actually have uh, some wood. Your wood gas is actually ducted uh, through the plenum. Uh, so the air can be heated. So your wood gas will come up and go into the top plenum here and come down between here. So you got wood gas coming up this way, but you also have wood gas that's being produced here uh, coming over this cone device or this this hat device where it goes up. And uh, so this will be your primary uh, wood smoke uh, being generated and your secondary. And where they come up here and when your hot air comes in, you actually have, I don't know if you can see that or not, uh, but it actually have, has uh, jets that your, your super hot air being generated actually is, is, is ported into the uh, uh, fire or the, the air in the wood gas stream to uh, cause a downward swirl. So as, as it's swirling downwards, you know, it uh, cause your tornado effect in your, in your combustion chamber. And inside you have your wood gas, you have your Joe pipe, pardon me, and uh, another swirl device. And you've got outside air coming in uh, to where it's swirled and enters into the Joe pipe. So the Joe pipe is being heated. Uh, the air is being heated not just uh, by the Joe pipe, but also by the, uh, the, the flame that's being produced by the wood gas. So, and to, to get it started, you just fill this up, uh, turn on your propane in your, in your air, and within 15 minutes you're already, you should have a good bed of coals in here where you're uh, producing wood gas so you can turn your drill pipe off or use it for uh, additional uh, superheated air. And uh, this is probably going to be one of the top systems of the world. you would be able to use it for uh, for your home heating, you'll be able to use it for uh, commercial applications. On the smaller units, you'd be able to use for your vehicles, and uh, you can use it for uh, full gasification, full pyrolysis, or a combination of both. Or if you're using it strictly for pyrolysis uh, to generate your wood smoke, you would be able to use your wood smoke uh, to, to power the, uh, a generator. Okay, just like to get this out, and uh, this is just the early beginnings of it. Give me time, we'll have this drawn up.
But this is a survival material and you need to take it to heart and 